Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to mix up some West Systems epoxy. Um, it's much thinner. It's kind of a finishing resin for fiberglass, but what we're going to do here is mix mix up a small batch and then base, uh, basically coat the, uh, the coupler tube for the electronics bay, the, um, the sled for the electronics bay, and the bulkheads. And so I'll just mix up a little batch of it. <clears throat> this is 206 hardener and the 105 resin. And it mixes at a ratio of five to one weight or volume. So we will just mix them up and then I'll get back with you here in a second and we will be coating uh, these parts. So I'm going to go a small batch of that. West Systems, stirring it up here. And this is slow hardener, so we should have plenty of working time here. Just basically paint it on. So we'll kind of show you how I do this with the tubes. And really I'm kind of just working it in, rubbing it in. Turns it into more of a phenolic kind of a thing. Epoxy resin with paper. This kind of hardens it and makes it wear better. really get it to soak in. You can see how it darkens the, the, the cardboard as it slowly soaks in. And I don't want too much excess on here. So I'll actually just kind of basically rub it in. No drips or having it pool up anywhere. Okay, that looks good. Move on to the centering rings here. There's that. Let me go ahead and kind of get the inside edges of this, however much I can reach from the inside. So we've got the epoxy on, on these pieces, that's curing. So while that's curing, I figured I'd do is go ahead and start cut, cutting the slots on the uh, lower section fin can so this can all slide in. So what I did was I ran this tube, body tube down and I marked the uh, locations for the fins. 
and then of course using the same old trick on the door frame I ran the lines up then I got the thin pattern and put lines on the length so that should be the length of the fin so if I cut the along these lines Make sure you can see this. So if I cut along these lines now that I've drawn out, this should slide over that fin can. I even marked, you know, which one's fin number one, two, and fin number three. So that's what I'm going to do is get a, a brand new X-Acto blade and my knife, and then carefully slice these and uh, make some slots in this tube so that we can put it over the, the fin can. So. Once I get that set up, it's going on, I'll come back here in a minute. So I usually freehand this, uh, just kind of like I do the, when I'm cutting sections of tube, I'm going to use this blade and I'm just going to follow that line and just don't try and do it all at once. I'm going to take multiple passes. Just carefully follow that line that I drew. on both sides of these. And just carefully cut these fin slots out. So there's one fence slot. Then I will do the other two and we will see how it fits. So all the slots are cut. So let's go take it over here to the fin can and see how it slides on. So that is fin number one. Widen the slot so it's a little tight. But it will go on. So it looks like maybe, you know, there might, might be a little tight right there. That looks pretty darn good right there. See how this bows out. We need to do a little trimming. Good for a first fit. It doesn't look too bad. So I'll pull that off and I'll we'll probably go ahead and let the fin can cure the rest of the way because it's the epoxy on it is still kind of curing a little bit. So back in a bit. So it's the next day and all these pieces have cured that I coated, that were coated with the finishing resin. There's the fin can. Got some runs and drips, but overall looks pretty good. Super strong with those notches and stuff. So now what we do is this for like on the electronics bay, probably won't slide right in. I probably need some sanding. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit. Some light sanding. Get everything to slide together really good. So 
So, two slots are cut in the, the lower body tube. So, I've already checked the fit here. It's very tight. It doesn't really bind, it's just tight, which is good. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to coat the inside of this with that finishing resin, kind of like I did with these to you know, really harden them. And uh, that needs to be glued on there. So that really helps with the toughness. I've already kind of checked the fit here. It fits good. Sanded that down a little bit. So that's good. So I want to coat the inside of the body tubes with the the, the um, finishing resin. And uh, so I'm going to mix up some of that, um, kind of do that. And then once that's kind of done, I'll mix up some structural epoxy to actually glue this guy in. So that's what I want to do. And I don't know if I'm going to video that or not, because really it's just getting inside of here and coating the inside of that tube with the, uh, the resin and the upper tube also. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, hopefully you can see this. It's hard to do camera work and get the thing done. But I've mixed up uh, another batch of the uh, System 3 structural epoxy. So the idea here is to get this thin pan and the body tube down onto it. So. Over the years, I've got several different little epoxy ap application tools. You can tell they're really fancy here, but um, I think I'm going to go with this one because what I want to do is be able to run a bead like right here on the inside. And then as we slide this thing in, at least that'll catch that part. Now the bottom, you know, as we get towards it, get things more in there, I'll put some more epoxy there and then we'll just have to kind of wipe and clean up our mess. But right now we want to try and get a pretty good bead of epoxy stuck back inside of there without making too big of a mess. But that's why I got my grungy shirt on here. So let's see how this goes. Of course it's kind of thick like honey. I want to run everywhere but And when this last bit of the uh, body tube goes down, there's these little flaps I have to go over this bottom ring. So that's going to be kind of tricky. So I've got some bamboo skewers here to kind of help wedge it in there. So make sure we line everything up. There's number, pin number one. So now you might be able to see what kind of what's going on here. The idea is to get these skewers, kind of wedge them a little bit to get that to come back up over it. See that? Okay, I'm trying to pull it back just a little bit to get some epoxy on this rear centering ring. This kind of this goopy structural epoxy, whatever squeeze out we get, we'll just have to wipe it off. So, okay. It's 
getting messy. Okay, I've got things clamped as best I could. The one that was still kind of sticking out, what I did was I got a little uh, CA glue and just hit it. I'm holding and trying to point at the same time. Hit it right there to kind of hold that together. So everything's clamped. The epoxy is curing. I even ran a little down just to kind of coat the top of that, that uh, top centering ring. So now I'm going to try and set this here on this box as vertically as I can to try and make sure nothing really puddles on one side. Okay, so that, that's my setup there. So now that's going to cure and uh, the other body tube, I've got it coated on the inside with the finishing resin. So that'll help harden that. I've already sanded a little bit on the uh, electronics bay. And got these center or the bulkheads here to fit in there nice. So that's all ready to go. Everything's really tight still right now, but that's good. I'd rather have it tight now and be able to sand to fit. Um, all this stuff is wood and it expands and contracts over time. So. Hope, hoping that, you know, the coatings of of the uh, epoxy resin will kind of waterproof it and kind of proof it from some of that humidity changes and stuff like that, but toughens it up a little bit. But anyhow, I'm going to get the gloves off and just let this stuff set and cure. So that's where we're at right now.